Becoming rich from zero with so much success is determined by one's mindset. People who have a positive can-do attitude combined with sharp critical thinking and business skills can go far, even if they start from scratch. In this video, we will learn six of the habits of the self-made millionaires. Number one, have a goal. Self-made millionaires have a clear life vision. Their life is defined by their dedication to an idea or business. Instead of waiting for the universe to do the work, they put in the effort and take the necessary steps to make their vision a reality. Number 2. Use your time wisely. Stop engaging in activities that won't bring you wealth. Though this theory is very simple, doing it in practice is far more difficult. There is nothing wrong to take a break and relax or rewarding yourself, but maybe you don't need to spend four to eight hours every weekend playing video games or leisurely shopping or watching Netflix for the whole day. There are only so many hours in the day, and if you don't give yourself enough time to work on your goals, you'll never get anywhere. Remember the old saying, time is gold. But for the millionaire's mindset, time is money. Aside from protecting your important time. Habit number three that you must learn is, make an investment in yourself. Investing in your development can take many different forms, such as education or mentoring. After you've created a strategy outlining the measures you must take to realize your vision and amass wealth, determine whether you still have any knowledge gaps. Example. If your goal is to launch a travel and tours business but you are completely unfamiliar with the industry, you will need to do some research. Especially now there are numerous resources available for free. There are some, to save their time from researching and testing trial and error, they use getting instruction from a professional in the industry to save more time and effort. Number 4. Avoid seeking out quick fixes. Because many people want to get rich quickly, they are becoming victims by the easy money concepts, such as scams and Ponzi schemes. Example, Elsa invests money in crypto because she heard that one of his friends became rich through this. But the problem is she didn't even make her research about crypto, she doesn't t know how risky crypto is. So, the result is all her invested money being liquidated. The reason why she didn't earn in crypto is not that cryptocurrency is a scam, but because she wanted to generate money quickly for an investment that she doesn't know and understand, because she wanted to get rich quickly. Millionaires who began with nothing often found themselves with a strong passion and a clear vision of what they wanted to achieve. They were solely focused on their goal and were not looking for a shortcut. Remember, you need to protect your hard-earned money at all times. That s why here s habit number five, invest your earnings wisely. Most millionaires put their money into real estate or the stock market or both. But before you start putting your money into either of these, make sure you fully understand what you're getting into. Meet with a financial professional or immerse yourself in financial literature or even make concrete study and research. Your goal is to gain a thorough understanding of the investment vehicle you're considering. Remember if you don't understand it, wait until you do before investing in it. That is the reason why you need to consider the last habit of becoming a millionaire. Habit number six, never stop learning. Millionaire self-made people never stop learning. Many millionaires were successful because they had a genuine curiosity in life and a desire to learn. Do not assume that this obligates you to attend college. In actuality, a large number of self-made billionaires left college before earning their degrees. Learn everything you can about the field you wish to work in. Take advice from those with a track record of success and avoid their rookie errors. You can learn from your own mistakes, but you can learn from others' mistakes as well. Always remember, it is not your fault that you were born poor, but when you die poor, then that is your fault. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button. 
See you on top. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching.